What's up guys, so I made a butt push video earlier today and I kind of talked a bit about the meta during that video and we had a good amount of discussion after that in my discord because people were posting their butt pushes and we were talking about their teams and so on and kind of one thing or a couple things that I want to talk about the current arena meta First of all, it definitely is different than it used to be and what I mean used to be it's different than the old Taras and Maritska meta even though those two champions are still practically in almost every single defense team at the top platinum but the meta is very different and right now we are in the speed meta I actually saw a reddit thread about arena today and I think the thread was mostly complaining about... I can't re re recall if it was about Armands or Narses. I guess both of them were kind of discussed in that thread. But it was kind of talking about the fact that Polymorph is an issue and we need to get speed meta back. But actually, even though Polymorph is a thing, we most certainly have a speed meta right now. I have seen it before, I can tell you if I see one. The main difference is that maybe last time that we had a speed meta, people aren't using something like Ramantu or Tormin or Madame Ceres, Hegemon. Those kind of champions are not as popular. People are mostly using either Lockout or um, Armands, and Lockout isn't affected by Polymorph. And even though Armands technically is, but it doesn't really bother him that much because he first does the turn meter steal and so on. And there's like trillion different local champions in the modern raid, so you can kind of do it in many different ways and you don't exactly need to have Warlord. But um, let me pull out the today's top 30 just to give you a point. And by the way, kind of big part why I wanted to make this video is that I think right now many people that haven't been able to get Platinum before now is definitely a great time to get your Platinum avatar if you want it there is some specific champion that you would really want to have and it would be super easy but of course you can do it even without them but unlike just a little while ago you don't completely need Taras and Mariska to be relevant you can actually compete in here quite well let me get my camera off because it's always always in the way when I want to talk about this kind of stuff but if you saw my classic arena push today my fights were very fast I think my slowest fight which was a massive mistake and went very wrong I think that was like two minutes pretty much like two minutes and my fastest fight was I think 25 seconds you can get really fast fights I think if we like Take, take out my, I don't know, like, worst fight and best fight. I think probably my average fight was maybe 40 seconds. It was super fast, and that's kind of why I didn't push very long today. I only did, like, 15-minute platinum push, and I think I got rank 136. And that's kind of in relation to what I was saying, that many people would be able to finish plot right now that haven't been able to do it before. Especially if you have White King Narses, you can totally do it without him. But with White King Narses, I think so many people that have him can make plat, even if they don't know it. And I want to talk about it today and help as many people as possible to get their Platinum Avatar. And also speak a bit about the meta so that um, you can adjust to this and maybe try to push a little bit higher if you were already pushing. But uh, if you see the defense team right now, in the picture that I have, which is the top 30 teams today, and I was talking about this on my video, even before I started pushing. Oh, oh by the way, so in, um, in regards to the 15 minute push, what I'm, what I'm saying, if I wasn't clear enough, is that if you have White King Narses offense, you can get really fast fights, and the cutoff between like let's say top 20 and not being in platinum 
is only like 150 points right now or even less you, even if you're not aiming for top 20 but let's say that you do a five minute push and you do like uh i don't know five to eight wins in that time you could get very high rank so you can do, if you're not confident about your defense team you can do super short push just stay outside of plat i mean this is nothing new people have done this before but right now the offense is so strong that it's kind of easier to do than it was in the previous meta but this has been a thing in the past like when service was popular and everybody was doing super fast fights with her but you could totally do a very short push like 5 to 10 minute push and get even like top 100 or whatever i recommend people to try it and i'll talk about the team that i'm specifically referring to in offense but it's surprise surprise the one that i was using as well and what i've been using ever since we got Narsus, but if we talk about the defense meta, basically what you see in every team right now, still, like I said, most of them have Taras and Maritska, but we can kind of see that there's more teams without Taras and Maritska than there used to be. I mean, without counting every single team, let's say that there's like 15 to 20, team, 15 to 20 teams with Taras and Maritska, and then a little bit more than half of them are without them. And the other nukers that we in see instead of um, Taras is pretty much like Narses and then we see couple couple Seek runes. Do we see any Lazarius? No Lazarius this time. I think in the previous plat resets there's often people running like Lazarius and one other nuker like Seek and Lazarius for instance, but I don't think we see it right now. But the meta team right now, as you can clearly see, practically, or I think not even practically, I think literally every single team in the top 30, they have a lockout champion or armaments, and very often like this guy beats CK4, they even have both of them. And then they have a nuker that is basically either Taras or Narses, but it, it could even be something else. The most important part is that you have some kind of speed threat and then you have a champion that can actually kill off the enemy team. Of course, the best is if you have these primal, primal lockout champions like Galatir and Quixia, because those are immune to lockout themselves. They can just change the form and lockout the enemy. Those are super frustrating to deal with and people are avoiding them and losing to them. But yeah, th that's what you see. So. If you were to build your own defense, you can kind of follow this formula that you want a reviver, you want a lockout champion and nuker, and then you have like one flex spot. Still, most of the teams are using UDK. UDK might even be the most single most popular champion right now. Without counting all of the teams, I think you pretty much see as much merits as you see UDK. Those are probably the two specific most popular champions but the reason why people are doing this and you don't see style teams with Taras, Maritz, Kasifi and UDK anymore which was unco uncontested best defense team until um, like until Narsus release there was no no other point to basically run anything else because that was so much better but right now that team and other tanky style teams they don't work anymore because of Narsus A2 and him ignoring passives and being able to one-shot them. Instead, everybody is kind of trying to avoid getting attacked with CC slash trying to kill the enemy if they are faster. So you, you will still find some teams that don't have a lockout. Clearly, you don't see that in top 30, but I got like rank 136 today. I didn't attack a single team with lockout. You can definitely find some of them. If you can attack or find those teams without it, if you're not fast, then you can very, very safely basically farm anything with Narses. And th that's kind of the way to go. Of course, right now being fast is super important, M more important than ever, because you can't super reliably like hegemon cheese these teams because if you look at these teams you can safely assume that they will have like 
two to four champions in stone skin. Almost every single Maritska is gonna be stone skin. UDKs are usually gonna be it as well, but of course you you can technically run both immunity and stone skin in order to try counter bomb teams and so on, but you will see tons of stone skin for this reason that everybody is running speed teams, so maybe if you can survive one nuke from the enemy because of stone skin, then you can one shot their squishy speed team and maybe you have your own Crixia resetting the cooldowns of your team and you can take the win that way. But for instance, something that is very noticeable is that the rank one was basically 4,400 points, 4,388 points, and that's only 130 points higher than top 30. And this is kind of normal, but in some metas this difference has been like multiple times that it could have been like 400 points even. So the cutoff between rank 1 and rank 30 is maybe like 150 points, not even that. And the difference between top 30 and not being in platinum is around the same amount of points as well. Let's say a little bit below 300 points. Th that's the difference between not being in platinum and being rank 1. That means that the meta is very fast paced and that's why you have a very excellent chance right now to cut in and do a short push, just get a couple fast safe wins against teams sure, sure about, don't take any risks and then you can finish plot and get your first avatar. As far as um, competing high up, basically if you want to compete in this meta and you don't like, because everybody is adjusting their defense teams around Narsus because he's so powerful, it's not like you need to specifically have it. I mean, you should have it if you try to compete for the top, but you can still run bomb teams like Astralit and Tuhanarak and then some combination of supports. You can still run that. It's a very risky and hard team, but that can be... In, in perfect conditions, it's the best team, though I would say that right now the Narsus offense is just so tr strong. Let me actually... Um, let's do a couple fights with the Narsus while we talk about it, but right now the Narsus team is so strong that I would almost even say that it's better than the, than the bomb team, because in ideal conditions the bomb team might be slightly faster, but not really even. It, it could even be around the same speed. And this offense is just much more consistent and less risky. And you, you can of course do other variations to this offense, but basically if you want to compete high right now in Platinum, you, you basically want to run some variation of this offense team with Narses. You, you could do it without Ankara. I made a video, by the way, watch my Narses guide. My Narses guide has specific team comps that you can use. Maybe I will pull up some of the pictures I used in that video if I can find them, but there's many variations that you can do with the Narses. You can you can run double Narses, you can run um, cooldown reset, you, there, you can run lockout, there's many things that you can do. You don't need to run this specific team. So I will say that the combination of like um, Lydia and Narses is very strong, especially against those teams that run Maritska, but even the teams without Maritska, since the Reviver is usually in stone skin, I would totally recommend generally using Lydia, but basically out of these champions, I will stick to some kind of CC champion. It could be Lockout or Armands, or it could just be a speed booster as well. But Ankara is actually the most replaceable in this team. You don't need Ankara at all. And as far as defense goes, it's what I was showing before in the picture, that um, it's basically the same as the offense, but if you have Maritz, you're going to run it, and you might prefer something like uh, Grixia or Galatir in defense instead of Armands that you might use in offense. But 
people are, are using all three of them in both offense and defense. And you pretty much want to have one of them in it, but that's where the meta is at right now. And it's, it's actually very approachable, even though I wasn't able to get top 20 today and I haven't been able to do that in a while. But um, I would say that, like as, for me personally, with the offense team that you saw me running right now, oh, I, <laughs> I accidentally opened Heroes, an old game some people are gonna know especially the Eastern European players, but anyway, so my offense has never been better. The Angora Armands is just so strong. I would almost guess that hopefully, I mean, it's kind of like with the old Taras meta, that if they don't implement some kind of counter to Narses, I don't see how he would be able to go out of the meta. I mean, you, you need to counter it to make it not the best, because what he offers is so good, but this kind of gives an opportunity to everybody that let's even say that you don't have Narciss and you're super, super bummed about it, but maybe you have Crixia that can reset your cooldown, or maybe you are very fast, because other people are running squishy defense teams with CC champion, you can totally farm them with some other nukers as well, assuming that you have Crixia or you are fast, or let's say technically that you could build uh, Yumeko or Kaimar with insane resistance, but that's kind of impossible to do. But you could totally farm those teams super fast with like Chorchit and Shu Chen or whatever other stuff you have. The meta right now is very prone to. People doing their personal best records and getting their first platinum finishes. I feel like it's almost even impossible for the top top clans. I mean, it's not. It's harder for them to gatekeep the top slots right now. So, I totally recommend people to um, try to push, try to push platinum and secure your avatar. I would also say I kind of spoke about it a little bit today on my like actual platinum push video but i get it that i don't have maritska so that's big part of it that i wasn't using her in defense lydia is super underrated i feel like i probably have to make a separate video about her this week but even outside of like even if the enemy team doesn't have maritska and you don't have to worry about her passive but like i said practically every reviver that you're gonna meet is gonna be in stone skin and having them we're not gonna have enough damage against the Harima team but let's take it anyway so the Lydia passive just makes the fights very safe and consistent and you basically don't need any gear on her she can die she doesn't need to be tanky only thing you need from her is the passive and also if you build her slow because of that, she doesn't even take time to do animations and it is just super strong and underrated. Though I totally get that many people are not gonna want to rebuild their Lydia for PvP instead of PvE. You could totally run it in PvP with your PvE build though, I will say, but ideally you will just build her slow with low accuracy as I have, but yeah, I, I feel like now is the time to push. If you have ever thought about going for a Platinum Avatar, you might be able to do it now. I don't think too many people outside of the super active Platinum Arena player base, I don't think they realized how much the meta has changed recently, because it has changed massively. This is kind of in relation to what I saw on Reddit today. Let me see if I can pull pull out that Reddit thread. But also just what I've been like, talking with people and so on. Okay, here is the here's the thread. I'm not gonna read all of it, but yeah, it was talking about polymorph and so on. I totally understand and get the point. I kind of disagree on some of the sentiment here, but as you can see, <laughs> what I commented here was that right now is speed meta. I don't think people realize it, especially if you don't push plot, you might not have realized that 
Like people don't run their actual defense midweek, but the Platinum Arena reset is very different right now. Now is your chance, go get your avatar. That's pretty much what I wanted to say on this video and kind of com explain how you should run your offense and defense because people obviously ask about me, ask about it from me a lot. And by the way, we have the Discord, join my Discord, it's in description, we're trying to promote arena discussion and help, join it, there's other people that talk about it, many people that post their platinum pushes and um, give feedback to each other and so on, but that's it, have a nice day and see ya.